What up, YouTube Digital? Uh, Captain Burrs did a video about this uh, church deal. Uh, Catholic churches, uh, there's a lot of, I, I know a lot about this on the inside shit. Uh, there's a lot of uh, health systems that are run by um, religious things, religious companies. And it's mostly them. It's like Adventist Health. Um, God, there's a whole bunch of them. I can't remember most of them. But under most of their insurance policies, they do not cover any form of contraceptive or abortion type procedures. Um, therapeutic. And therapeutic means optional. Uh, medical means there's a medical reason that it has to be done okay now let's go with where the debate really started um, I'm gonna try to do this the fast and easy way I knew a girl like that once and she was awesome but anywho Okay, there's a difference. Okay, a lot of people will go, oh, but on health insurance, there's the blah, 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 and they got to cover blah, 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 blah. Okay, when you're dealing with medical insurance, there's two types of plans. There are fully insured plans, meaning that you have a direct contract with the insurance company, blah, blah, blah. And there are uh, insurance plans called self-funded or TPA. TPA, the best way to go about this is, is to look up on Wiki and look up uh, health insurance TPA. TPA stands for third party administrator. Basically what happens is, is a church, let's just say Adventist Health, they are their own insurance company. So under the federal laws and everything else, the employer group is really the insurance company. And they pay somebody like Aetna to take the telephone calls and pay the bills and everything else. And Adventists will make the plans and everything else. So they can literally cover whatever the fuck they want. They can cover boob jobs. They can cover. They can cover uh, penis enlargements. They can cover. Uh, there's one. Uh, so, uh, was it IBM that used to cover a sex change and then a reversal? Fucking worthless. Just punch the fucking person. There, it's cheaper. Um, but uh, yeah, these church ones have have always never done it. Now, where it started becoming an issue is most states, under the state laws, the insurance plans are supposed to cover, you know, contrac uh, they can, they're supposed to cover, you know, some of the shit. Okay, so the state law would say, hey, you're, you're supposed to cover some form of contraceptive, whether it's being the pill or uh, Norplant or, you know, whatever. Some states even have provisions for covering uh, uh, abortions. Both, all of them do medical. Medicals is not a, is not an option. Or is not a is not a anything. If there's a if there's something wrong medically, then it has to be done. Okay, there, there's no point. It, it there's no um, the insurance plan can't can't deny that. Uh, so what was going on is is in some of these states if they had a fully insured plan they would have these coverages but because they don't they don't and what was also happening is in some of these areas these nurses and stuff they were screwed because the only places they can get a job at is that Adventist or, you know, and I'm just using Adventist as a thing. I don't believe they were part of it or they could have been. I don't know. But they don't necessarily believe in the, the, the spiritual side of the employer's plan. And under the employment laws, they can't force them to do so. So it's kind of a catch-22 there, and it was kind of a gray area because 
under state laws, they should be covering it if they were fully insured. And under, and under state and federal laws, the employer cannot put push religion on an employee. So it was starting to get to a really sticky area. Now, on self-insurance plans, most of them, most of the state laws do not apply to them. The state laws must specifically state that they apply for a self-funded or TPA plan. And most of them don't, except when it comes to, like, cancer treatments. A lot of them will. And uh, the federal laws do cover... Um, do cover uh, uh, both fully insured and, fe and uh, self-funded, but federal laws don't get into too much of the benefit side. They just go on the operational side. So it was all a very sticky area, and this has been blowing up for years. And this is, uh, people have won, they've won the cases in employment court, but lost the cases in you know, taking the, the insurance to court. Well, actually taking the employer. Because you're not suing. In this case, you're not suing Aetna. You're suing the employer. By the way, I don't I don't advise it. It doesn't go too well for your career. But, um, so this this shit was, was getting nasty. And finally, you know, they came down with what they came down with. And as much, I do agree with Burr's. But, uh, you know... It's a drawback to what happens when you want to be, if you want to be a nurse and, and the only hospital there is, you know, a religious hospital system, then you either need to move or you need to take the job and smile and figure out how to get your contraceptive some other way. And they're not that expensive. The pill isn't. Norplant, I think, is a hundred bucks. So it's not that expensive. And if you're a fucking nurse, you can afford Norplant. You know, I'm not even gonna go there. So it, you, you just gotta pay for it yourself. That's just the way it is. There are some cosmetic companies in some a certain uh, magazine company that paid for cosmetic surgery for. Me. No other companies that I that I know of would do it, but these ones would. You know, it's just how it's just how it is, how it rolls, and people need to, you know, this is one of those deals where if you don't like what's going on, then you need to move. You know, it sucks. I didn't want to leave the the mountains of California. I love California. I hate all the laws and bullshit about California, but I love California. You know? But I had to move. It's just how it is. You know? You'll probably get better pay anyways, because most of us hospital systems don't pay worse shit. But anywho, I just wanted to kind of help clear it up to because insurance is a bitch to begin with. And then when you see things like this, it, it, it becomes even a bigger bitch to understand. And the biggest thing about it, health insurance, is people need to realize, especially if you have health insurance, you need to figure out whether or not your plan is uh, a self-funded or, you know, a TPA or if it's uh, a fully insured plan. And you should be able to find out in your plan documents. It should tell you what type of plan, whether it follow, follows URSA, E-R-I-S-A, or, or some other, other bullshit. I can't remember off the top of my head. I got so much shit in my head, the basic shit's of our, it's already gone. <laughs> but anywho, uh, this is a quick uh, little follow-up. And... Um, You know, to me, it's kind of a reverse discrimination. I don't know, maybe not reverse, but it is kind of a form of discrimination. And I think the hospital, I understand them not covering therapeutic abortions. But contraceptives, I don't see why they should have a problem with. And I think they should pull off 
their head out of their ass and and deal with it. But anywho. Peace.